We welcome you back, and we're joined by Wapakoneta coach Jason Rostevern, his 17th season as the head coach, 20th year with the Redskins. Next to him is Jaden Hefner, a state alternate, and Landon Hall in the end, fourth in the state last year. Coach, let's start with you. It's been a fun week for you guys. Had the state duels on Wednesday, a couple of wins over a couple of Western Buck Alley rivals. Yeah, it, uh, we uh, had uh, an opportunity to be seated high enough to host a uh, match at uh, Wapakoneta, and this year we haven't had many home matches, so I'm sure our fans were excited about that. And uh, so we got to wrestle Bath and uh, and Elida and come away with two big wins. What do you What do you think about that dual tournament? Are you a favorite? I really like it. Uh, it's 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 still kind of new. A lot of people are trying to figure it out. Uh, some coaches might not like it, but we like it. It's just free matches because it doesn't count towards your points that you're allowed through the OHSAA. So uh, there are extra matches that we we get to go out and compete and uh, see where we're at and kind of measure yourself against competition. Uh, especially this coming week. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But Landon, let's talk about the, the dual tour tournament format as well. Does that feel different than, you know, we're coming up on the Western Buckeye League tournament sectionals. How's the dual tournament feel in comparison? Um, there's really no difference, but um, I feel like it gets us or, uh, like ready for the WBL championship and all that stuff and hopefully uh, add another title to that banner in our gym. Regular season champs thus far, 9-0. Yeah. Uh, running the table there of course that's only half of the equation the other half will be the tournament which will broadcast those finals coming up Jaden big week ahead you got mm -hmm. Graham St. Paris Graham in the, in the next round of the duels and then the Western Buckeye League championships on Saturday how excited are you for all that oh we're really excited I mean it's always a good thing to go and face a team like Graham it gets us ready for sectionals district states and then going in at WBL there's some good competition there and it's just from there, it just takes off, and then sectionals and districts, and then state. Graham won 80 to nothing, and then 76 to nothing. Bell Fountain's a pretty good wrestling team, yeah. and they shut them out. You know, it's a national power. Yeah. Nice challenge for you guys. Are you excited? Yeah, I mean, you know, we have some uh, we have some seniors with lofty goals, and yeah. and uh, that's a great measuring stick for us. Uh, you know, we're going to be outmatched in some weight classes, and uh, you know, we'll take we'll we'll take a, a loss here or there, but. You know, these guys, these guys, these two here are among them. They've been here for a long time, and we were just talking on the way up here about how many matches they've wrestled and such. Mm. And, you know, that's, that's, that's why these guys are uh, as good as they are. You yeah. know, they wrestle tough competition, and we, uh, we have a competitive schedule, and yeah. it's all about getting prepared for uh, the start of the, the postseason. Um, you know, the WBL tournament gets you uh, the first step, and then sectional, district, state, and uh, that's what we train for, all, you know, full time. Let's talk about the WBL tournament. You guys have seen these wrestlers uh, yeah. a number of times. Landon, do you, do you know them pretty well, your opponents for that tournament next Saturday? Uh, yes, I do. I pretty much faced all of them, so I know what they're going to do, and they know what I'm going to do, but I can always change it up and hopefully uh, aim for that fourth title and hopefully another team title for the team. Jaden, how about you? Do you like to get to know your opponents and know what to expect, kind of? Well, yeah. Uh, I've put, like in Landon's case, I've pretty much faced everyone in the WBL, and so if, they, if there's anything I need to change to uh, get that win and possibly that title, I'll do it. Coach, uh, kind of a heartbreaking story a month ago. Tyler Copeland uh, getting injured. He was third in the state last year. But from what I've been told, he's been a coach for you now. He's really rallied the guys, and, and he has stayed focused on helping the team any way he can, even though he can't wrestle. Right. You know, this, this senior class, they're really tight. They're, uh, they've been, you know, good friends all the way through uh, – kids wrestling and now in the high school and uh, you know that that injury hit all of us pretty hard um, especially you know Tyler but you know uh, unfortunately in our sport and it's a it's a competitive combat sport it, it happens yeah. um, you know you'd hate to see that but but Tyler he knows his role now and that's the you know especially the younger guys he's he's up at practice you know harping on him yelling at him <laughs> uh, with talking in my ear all the time now, you know, so. <laughs> you got to uh, tell him to be quiet yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, yeah, he knows his, his role now. And, uh, you know, he's still there for, you know, for Landon, Jaden, the other seniors. And, uh, you know, we just keep talking that, uh, you know, we're going to be down a guy. So somebody on the team's got to step up. And these two guys are, uh, they're ready for it. So that's where, that's where we're going, going from the direction we're going right now. Tomorrow you make the trip to Salina, Landon. What, what are some of the things you're trying to tweak about your your moves and your, your matches? Um, just trying to improve on everything and um, hopefully just a warm-up tournament for bigger things like WBLs and sectionals and districts and so on. Jaden, how about you tomorrow in Salina? 
That's basically the same thing. I mean, we've been to this tournament for the past three years now, and basically we've seen every team there almost, and just it's going to be some good competition there also to help us get ready for that main goal, help get banners up or names up on that banner. Coach, what's this time of year feel like for you? It's a lot of it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of uh, <laughs> you know because you're coming down to the end of the season where this is what you focused all year on, yeah. and we keep talking about uh, you know through the season it's practice it's preparing him for this part of the season. Losses that came earlier in the year were opportunities to learn. And now hopefully those lessons have been learned so they can turn those into victories. And then, you know, you were asking them about their opponents and they've wrestled a lot of these guys. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, most of the time with these two, they've come out on top, but it's, it's tough to beat a guy, a guy a second time. So they're gonna have to really be ready. And that's why we keep working in practice. And, uh, you know, it's, it's rewarding, but they're, you know, <laughs> it's crunch it's time. Tiring, isn't it's it? crunch time. It really is. And you know, these guys have been wrestling hard since November. Wow. You know, and it wears on them too. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, you got to watch your team and kind of know when to back off a little right. bit. And, uh, you know, and then when to get back to pushing. There you go. Well, a lot of pushing this next month of the season. We're excited for next week. They'll be taking on St. Paris Graham on Wednesday in the state dual tournament. And then the Western Buckeye League Championships will be Saturday. And we'll have those finals for you on WSN. Guys, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Coach Rostifer, Landon Hall, and Jaden Hefner. When we were